Alrighty, friendos, welcome in. So in today's video, we are talking about all things crucifixes, what they do, what they don't do, all that jazz. I'll go ahead and apologize right now in case this is before the big progression update. So if the progression update happens to change the crucifixes anyway, this video will be outdated. So I do apologize. But otherwise, as of now, July 19th, 2023, this is how they work. Um, so what crucifixes do do, <laughs> that's right, I said do do, they will prevent a hunt. What they don't do is save you during a hunt. So these are used before hunt even happens to stop a hunt. Um, each crucifix, so you usually you can start up, up to two crucifixes, each crucifix has two use. So total between the two, you can prevent four hunts. Two uses on one, two uses on the other. And the way you use a crucifix, you can either put it on the ground. <laughs> this ghost is just throwing things. You can either put it on the ground by placing F, which will show you the radius of the crucifix. This is a three meter range. So the little bubble you see is three meters. The only exception, the only ghost that has a different radius is a demon with five meter range. So just add two meter bubble to what you see here and that's how much it'll prevent, uh, protect against a demon. So you can either place it on the ground with F, which will show you the bubble, or just toss it like that, which doesn't show you the bubble, but works just as fine. Uh, but crucifixes also work in your hand. So you can prevent a hunt while the crucifix is in your hand, as long as like the ghost hunts within the three meter bubble. So crucifixes are best used, like obviously near the ghost room. So like, for example, I think, I think this might be the ghost room right now. Uh, you can just put the crucifix in here. You see I'm placing it with F and it seems like it's covering this whole room. Um, now, not all ghosts just live their best life in their rooms. Sometimes they roam out. Like I can see this ghost roaming out over here, maybe roaming over here. So you can also place crucifixes like defensively. Like we got one in the room, right? But like, where do I not want this ghost to hunt? Well, probably where I want to retreat to, which I'll probably retreat that way. So I might put a crucifix like behind me. That way I know for sure. I think I actually might be touching those doors. That way I know for sure the ghost will not hunt within this bubble. So you can put the crucifixes both in the room also defensively, because there are some ghosts that can like teleport to you, like a Wraith, Phantom Banshee. And so like, maybe you want to hide without worrying about them teleporting on top of you. So you could take a crucifix. Well, there's no hiding. Pretend there's a hiding spot here. <laughs> and you could put the crucifix in your hiding spot to protect you from getting haunted on by a teleporting ghost. So I'll go and make one note too about a different ghost, the Onryo. The Onryo actually has, oh, pardon me while I get affected. <laughs> <laughs> the Onryo um, actually has candles that can also work as a crucifix. Um, and what I mean by that is that an Onryo cannot hunt within four meters of a lit candle. So if you're going against, you know you're going against Onryo, you could actually use candles as a crucifix. I know there's a whole thing about if an Onryo blows out three candles in a row, it could hunt you. But as long as you have crucifixes in the room and you keep all the candles lit, you should be fine. But that's the only side note I'm gonna make about a non-crucifix that also kind of works as a crucifix, and that is with the Onryo. Now, I'm not gonna talk about smudge sticks in this video because this video is just strictly about crucifixes, but smudge sticks are, can also be used to prevent hunts. Um, if you guys want me to make a separate video about smudge sticks, let me know in the comments. All right, I'll go and talk really quick about reasons why crucifix might not be working for you, like why the ghost might be hunting, even though you have crucifixes in what is the ghost room. Um, the main explanation for that is that the ghost is stepping out of the three meter range of the crucifix. So pretend that this kettle is the ghost, okay? So this is its room, you know, it's hanging out in this room, living its best life, and all of a sudden it's like, you know what? I'm gonna go over here for, you know, no other reason than I, I'm just over here now. If we take a look at this crucifix that we have placed here, the ghost is now outside of the range, and so if it wanted to hunt, it would hunt over there and not be prevented by the crucifix. So if your crucifixes aren't working, if the ghost seems to be dodging them, just pay attention to where it is hunting from, and then you could also move your crucifixes over to that area that it's now hunting. So actually, in this instance that I'm in right now, this ghost is, according to this mirror, is actually no, oh, okay, well, that broke it. It's actually no longer in this room. It has actually switched rooms, so my crucifixes will not do anything. I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now how a crucifix is not gonna save you during a hunt. Hold the crucifix. ghost isn't gonna like stop hunting it's going after me because i'm holding down my bush to talk oh, on trash can. so see it's not gonna do anything for you during a hunt now you don't always have a mirror to know if the ghost has changed rooms but if you notice it's all of a sudden hunting from a different area all you gotta do is move the crucifixes to that area to get the, them to work so that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna take this crucifix down there and see if we can get it to use it yeah, especially like in an area that's like super large like this it's hard to prevent a hunt again i'm gonna kind of use them defensively like i don't really want the ghost to hunt here 
Um, that way I can retreat this way. And because the mirror showed me that the ghost is in the hallway, I'm also just gonna put another crucifix down here where it could also maybe try to hunt. And if you're like in the ghost room and you're like trying to get evidence, but you're worried for your safety, you could always just stand within the bubble of the crucifix. The ghost could like, like I said, still step outside the bubble. But as you can see, it actually did just use this crucifix. It was in this bubble. Um, so if we'd been standing here, we would have been safe. It would have used it. Um, same with over here. Just stand with the bubble of the crucifix. And so that way you know for sure that it won't actually just hunt on top of you. Um, as far as like how long the crucifix is prevent to hunt uh, is dependent on the ghost type. So um, every ghost but a demon could hunt every 25 seconds if they want to. And yeah, this ghost really likes to use his crucifix over here. Uh, demons could hunt every 20 seconds if they want to, which doesn't mean that they do, but they could. So a crucifix against non-demons will prevent it for at least 25 seconds, sometimes longer. It really just depends on what the ghost is feeling like. And against demons, it will be for at least 20 seconds. <laughs> Also, if a ghost is a ghost event, that means the ghost is like currently in this location. So you could always move the crucifix to that spot and it would prevent a hunt there temporarily. I'm trying to get this ghost to use a crucifix in my hands. So I can show you that. Again, so the ghost just ghost events it on me. I know it's like currently in this spot at the moment. So if it did try to hunt, the crucifix would save me. There you go. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> and when it does use a crucifix in your hand, your character will drop it because it gets like really hot. So. Um, kind of a really good defensive way um, to save yourself. Just have, like stand within the bubble of a crucifix. I don't know if I'd recommend holding a crucifix. It's not so totally necessary. You can always just put it on the ground. So that is all the information I have for you guys about crucifixes. As always, if you have questions, feel free to comment them down below. Otherwise, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop it a like. If you love to drop me a sub, good luck, ghost hunting, and I will see you in the next one.